वेलकम टू वंडर स्लेट सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर अपडेट्स टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज क्विज इज इंडियन नेशनल मूवमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द मॉन्टेग्यू चेल्स फर्ड रिपोर्ट फॉर्म द बेसिस ऑफ ऑप्शन ए द इंडियन काउंसिल एक्ट नाइनटीन ओ नाइन ऑप्शन बी द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटीन ऑप्शन सी द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन थर्टी फाइव ऑप्शन डी द इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस एक्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटीन मॉन्टेग्यू चेल्सफर्ड और मॉन्टफर्ड रिफॉर्म्स विच वर अनाउंस्ड इन जुलाई नाइनटीन एटीन इन लाइन विद द गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी कंटेंट इन मॉन्टेग्यू स्टेटमेंट ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन सेवनटीन फॉर्म द बेसिस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ड्यूरिंग द इंडियन फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग प्रपोज दैट स्वराज शुड बी डिफाइंड एज कंप्लीट इंडिपेंडेंस फ्री ऑल फॉरन कंट्रोल ऑप्शन ए मरूल हक ऑप्शन बी मौलाना हसरत मोहनी ऑप्शन सी हाके मजमल खान ऑप्शन डी अब्दुल कलाम आजाद द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी मौलाना हसरत मोहनी मौलाना हसरत मोहनी प्रपोज दैट स्वराज शुड बी डिफाइंड एज कंप्लीट इंडिपेंडेंस फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल फॉरेन कंट्रोल इन 1921 व्हेन ही वाज प्रिजाइडिंग ओवर द सेशन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया मुस्लिम लीग इन लखनऊ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द नेम ऑफ द फेमस पर्सन ऑफ इंडिया हु रिटर्न द नाइट हुड कन्फर्ड ऑन हिम बाय द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट एज अ टोकन ऑफ प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट द अट्रॉसिटीज इन पंजाब इन 1919 वाज ऑप्शन ए तेज बहादुर सप्रू ऑप्शन बी आशुतोष मुखर्जी ऑप्शन सी रबींद्रनाथ टगोर ऑप्शन डी सैयद अहमद खान द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी Rabindranath Tagore Rabindranath Tagore returned the knighthood conferred on him by the British government as a token of protest against the Jallianwala Bagh massacre April 13 1919 Question number 4 Where were the Gadar revolutionaries who became active during the outbreak of World War 1 based Option A Central America Option B North America Option C West America option D South America the correct answer is option B North America Gadar revolutionaries were based in San Francisco North America and branches along the US coast and in the far east question number 5 in which one of the following provinces was a congress ministry not formed under the act of 1935 option A Bihar option B Madras option C Orissa option D Punjab the correct answer is option D Punjab Congress ministries were formed in Bombay Madras central provinces Bihar and later in NWFP and Assam also question number 6 at which the congress session was the working committee authorized to launch a program of civil disobedience option A Bombay option B Lahore option C Lucknow option D Tripura the correct answer is option B Lahore at the Lahore session 1929 president J L Nehru the working committee was authorized to launch a program of civil disobedience question number 7 in october 1920 who headed a group of indians gathered at tashkent to set up a communist party of india option a h k sarkar option b p c joshi option c m c chagla option d m n roy the correct answer is option d m n roy the other prominent persons include abni mukherjee and mohammed ali mohammed shafiq question number 8 who drafted the resolution on fundamental rights for the karachi session of congress in 1931 option a dr b r ambedkar option b pandit jawahar lal nehru option c dr rajendra prasad option d sardar vallabhbhai patel the correct answer is 
Option C. Dr. Rajendra Prasad Nehru drafted the resolution on fundamental rights. The Karachi session was presided over by Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Question number 9. Who among the following was not associated with the formation of UP Kisan Sabha in February 1918? Option A. Indra Narendra Vivedi. Option B. Gauri Shankar Mishra. Option C. Jawaharlal Nehru. Option D. Madan Mohan Malviya. The correct answer is. Option C. Jawaharlal Nehru. UP Kisan Sabha was founded by Indra Narayani Dvivedi and Gauri Shankar Mishra in 1918. Madan Mohan Malviya supported their efforts. Question number 10. Which party was founded by Subhash Chandra Bose in the year 1929 after he broke away from the Congress? Option A. Indian Freedom Party. Option B. Azad Hind Fauj. Option C. Revolutionary Front. Option D. Forward Block. The correct answer is. Option D. Forward Block. Forward Block was founded on May 3, 1939. It was a left-wing nationalist political party with its stronghold in West Bengal. Question number 11. Under whose presidency was the Lahore session of the Indian Congress held in the year 1929, wherein a resolution was adopted to gain complete independence from the British? Option A. Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Option B. Gopal Krishna Gokhale. Option C. Jawaharlal Nehru. Option D. Moti Lala Nehru. The correct answer is. Option C. Jawaharlal Nehru. They also celebrated the first Independence Day on January 26, 1930, which was a date later selected for the adoption of the Indian Constitution. Question number 12. Which portfolio was held by Dr. Rajendra Prasad in the interim government formed in the year 1946? Option A. Defense. Option B. External Affairs and Commonwealth Relations. Option C. Food and Agriculture. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option D. None of them. After Indian independence in 1947, Dr. Rajendra Prasad became the first Indian President of India. Question number 13. Which one of the following aroused a wave of popular indignation that led to the massacre by the British at Jallianwala Bagh? Option A. The Arms Act. Option B. The Public Safety Act. Option C. The Rollout Act. Option D. The Vernacular Press Act. The correct answer is. Option C. The Rollout Act. Jallianwala Bagh massacre took place on the 13th of April 1919 during anti rollout agitation in Amritsar. Rollout Act was passed in March 1919 which authorized the government to imprison any person without trial and conviction in a court of law. Tagore announced his knighthood in protest against the Jillian Bagh massacre. Question number 14. At which one of the following places did Mahatma Gandhi first start his Satyagraha in India? Option A. Ahmedabad. Option B. Bardoli. Option C. Champaran. Option D. Khera. The correct answer is. Option C. Champaran. Mahatma Gandhi first starts his Satyagraha in India at Champaran in Bihar in 1917. He was requested by Rajkumar Shukla to look into the problems of poor peasants caused by the indigo planters of Champaran. Question number 15. The song Amar Sonar Bangla written during the Swadeshi movement of India inspired the liberation struggle of Bangladesh and was adopted as the national anthem of Bangladesh. Who wrote this song? Option A. Rajni Kanta Sen. Option B. Dvijendralal Ray. Option C. Mukunda Das. Option D. Rabindranath Tagore. The correct answer is. Option D. Rabindranath Tagore. The song was written in 1905 in Bangla. Rabindranath Tagore was the only person to write the national anthem of two countries, that is India and Bangladesh. Question number 16. During the Indian freedom struggle. 
Who of the following raised an army called Free Indian Legion? Option A. Lala Hardayal. Option B. Ras Bihari Bose. Option C. Subhash Chandra Bose. Option D. V. D. Savarkar. The correct answer is Option C. Subhash Chandra Bose. In January 1942, the Propaganda Ministry announced the formation of the Indian National Army, Jai Hind, in Berlin. At the end of July 1942, 300 volunteers were issued German army uniforms bearing a badge on the right arm which showed a leaping tiger superimposed on an Indian tricolor, surrounded by the legend Fry S. Indian. The men were then officially designated the Free Indian Legion. Question number 17. Who among the following rejected the title of knighthood and refused to accept a position in the Council of the Secretary of State for India? Option A. Moti Lala Nehru. Option B. M. G. Ranade. Option C. G. K. Gokhale. Option D. B. G. Tilak. The correct answer is Option C. G. K. Gokhale. Question number 18. Who suggested the reconstitution of the Viceroy Executive Council in which all the portfolios, including that of war members, were to be held by the Indian leaders? Option A. Simon Commission. Option B. Shimla Conference. Option C. Cripps Proposal. Option D. Cabinet Mission. The correct answer is Option B. Shimla Conference. Suggested in June 1945 by the Viceroy Lord Wavell in Shimla. It is also known as the Wavell Plan. Question number 19. Who gave a systematic National Congress in a series of articles entitled New Lamps for Old? Option A. Arvind Ghosh. Option B. R. C. Dutt. Option C. Sayyad Ahmad Khan. Option D. Viraraghavachari. The correct answer is Option A. Arvind Ghosh. K. G. Deshpande, a friend of Aurvind from his Cambridge days, was in charge of a weekly, Indu Prakash, published from Bombay. He requested Sri Arvind to write upon the current political situation. Sri Arvind began writing a series of fiery articles under the title New Lamps for Old, strongly criticizing the Congress for its moderate policy. Question number 20. Who among the following used the phrase UN, British to criticize the English colonial control of India? Option A. Anand Mohan Bose. Option B. Badruddin Tiabji. Option C. Dada Bhai Noroji. Option D. Pheroz Shah Mehta. The correct answer is Option C. Dada Bhai Noroji. Dada Bhai Noroji wrote a book entitled Poverty and UN British Rule in India. Question number 21. Who was the Viceroy of India when the Rule It Act was passed? Option A. Lord Irwin. Option B. Lord Reading. Option C. Lord Chelmsford. Option D. Lord Wavell. The correct answer is Option C. Lord Chelmsford. Lord Chelmsford, 1916-1921, was Governor General when the Rule It Act was passed in March, 1919. Question number 22. Who among the following Gandhian followers was a teacher by profession? Option A. A. N. Sinha. Option B. Braj Kishore Prasad. Option C. J. B. Kriplani. Option D. Rajendra Prasad. The correct answer is Option C. J. B. Kriplani. Following his education at Ferguson College in Pune, Kriplani worked as a school teacher before joining the freedom movement following Gandhi's return from South Africa. He was a professor of English and history. Kriplani came in contact with Gandhi in 1917 during Champaran Satyagraha. Question number 23. Which one of the following was a journal brought out by Abul Kalam Azad? Option A. Al. Hilal. Option B. Comrade. Option C. The Indian Sociologist. Option D. Zamindat. The correct answer is. Option A. Al. Hilal. 
The Al Hilal was a newspaper established by Indian leader Maulana Abul Kalam Azad and used as a medium for criticism of the British Raj in India. The newspaper also espoused the cause of the Indian independence movement and exhorted Indian Muslims to join the movement. The newspaper was shut down under the Press Act of 1914. Question number 24. Where was the first session of the Indian National Congress held in December 1885? Option A Ahmedabad Option B Bombay Option C Calcutta Option D Delhi The correct answer is Option C Calcutta Indian National Congress was informed on the 28th of December 1885 in Bombay and its first session was held under the presidentship of W C Banerjee Question number 25 Who among the following wrote the poem Subh ya azadi Option A Sahir Ludhianvi Option B Faiz Ahmed Faiz Option C Muhammad Iqbal Option D Maulana Abul Kalam Azad The correct answer is Option B Faiz Ahmed Faiz Subh ya azadi Dawn of Freedom was written in August 1947 after the partition of India Question number 26 In the individual satyagraha Vinoba Bhave was chosen as the first satyagrahi who was the second option A Dr Rajendra Prasad option B Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru option C C Raj Gopal Acharya option D Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel The correct answer is option B Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru Question number 27 During the freedom struggle Aruna Asaf Ali was a major woman organizer of underground activity in option A civil disobedience movement option B non cooperation movement option C quit india movement option D swadeshi movement the correct answer is option C quit india movement There was an award of 5000 rupees on her arrest. Later she was called the Grand Old Lady of the Independence Movement. Question number 28. Who of the following prime ministers sent Cripps mission to India? Option A. James Ramsey MacDonald. Option B. Stanley Baldwin. Option C. Neville Chamberlain. Option D. Winston Churchill. The correct answer is Option D Winston Churchill In March 1942 a mission headed by Stafford Cripps was sent to India with constitutional proposals to seek Indian support for the war by British PM Winston Churchill Question number 29 During the Indian freedom struggle why did the roll attack arouse popular indignation Option A It curtailed the freedom of religion Option B It suppressed the Indian traditional education. Option C. It authorized the government to imprison people without trial. Option D. It curbed the trade union activities. The correct answer is Option C. It authorized the government to imprison people without trial. It was passed in March 1919 even though every single Indian member of the Central Legislative Council opposed it. It became a reason for the Jallianwala Bagh tragedy of Amritsar on the 13th of April 1919. Question number 30. Who founded the Ahmedabad Textile Labor Association? Option A. Mahatma Gandhi. Option B. Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Option C. N M Joshi. Option D. J B Kripalani. The correct answer is Option A. Mahatma Gandhi. Ahmedabad Textile Labor Association was founded in 1917. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.